And while the bulk of the heavy rain is expected for eastern Ontario and Quebec, Atlantic Canada could also be hit by downpours. Northern New Brunswick could see up to 40 millimeters. And in, in the interior of British Columbia, the warning there, the concerns there, severe thunderstorms. The watches are in effect in that area because of the fear of lightning strikes that could start more wildfires. Joining me now is Dave Phillips, Environment Canada Senior Climatologist. Dave, thanks as always for joining us. You're welcome, Roger. Nice to be with you. So who's going to bear the brunt of the, what's left of Debbie, I guess, is the case? Yeah, you know, well, it's, you know, Roger, this was going to be a wet day without Debbie's rains. Uh, weather system actually was uh, hovering over Quebec and Ontario, Quebec, and actually helped to draw Debbie up northward. It's moving very fast now. It was just sort of pirouetting around there in, in Georgia and the Carolinas, but now it's in Virginia and it's heading northward to northern New York. And of course, as you've reported already in eastern Ontario from from Peterborough to, to Ottawa, Pembroke, and then, of course, into Quebec. I think really along the St. Lawrence looks like it would be closer to the core of the storm. And so they could see certainly, they could maybe even see more than 100 millimeters of rain, 120 millimeters of rain, and uh, and really less in, uh, in New Brunswick as the storm gets wound up and on uh, Saturday and into Sunday into Newfoundland. But it'll pretty well be finished by that uh, uh, by the time we get to to the end of the weekend, but certainly we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of rain, uh, 80 to 100 millimeters, over 120 in some areas, as you said. Mm -hmm. And in areas like Toronto, which we don't need any rain, we had the the wettest month of any month in July, and and now we're going to see probably between 20 and 50 millimeters of rain. Not quite a rather a rainfall warning, uh, Roger. It'd have to get to above 50 millimeters to be that, but certainly 20 to 50, and it'll be an all day affair and break. Break records for, for certainly this day in places like Ottawa, Montreal. It could be a month's worth of rain in one day. And how fast is the rain going to be coming down in those areas? Concerns about flooding, things like that. That's a good point. I mean, they're going to be thunderstorms. And under those thunderstorms, the rain is going to be heavier. I've already seen a, a good mark of how intense the rain is when it's raining, say, heavy rain in the forecast and the, in the hour observing uh, right now. Uh, then if the visibility drops from, say, 19 kilometers to uh, 1.2 kilometers like it has in Montreal, you know that rain is heavy, intense. You can't see very far into the uh, into the uh, horizon. So, so really, uh, those are moments that are going to be very intense. And and really, Roger, the reality is that our cities are not uh, built to handle this amount of rain. Doesn't matter how dry in Montreal or Ottawa, Toronto is that raindrop becomes a flood drop as it falls on hardened surfaces of asphalt and building materials and pavement and what mm -hmm. have you. So the sewer systems can't take it. And as they say, we've already had a good amount of rain in June, July in these areas. So the, the ground is well saturated and just more rain will just puddle and pool a little faster and intersections will fill. So people need to be careful about uh, driving in these kind of where the, the surface is, is flooded. I mean, that could be very deep and you just don't know. And you could, and the flow of that water is quite, uh, uh, quite fast. So, uh, hey, there are issues with, uh, with heavy amounts of rain. It's not just an inconvenience or spoil your, your picnic or your golf uh, game. It, it, it can be certainly quite, quite threatening. Absolutely. We're just showing some video of two guys walking along, look like rescue guys, and one of them walked into a hole. Didn't see it? Yes, exactly. Walking ahead of him. So there's a, a lot of dangers. Uh, anecdotally, this seems to be one of the wettest, at least in eastern Ontario or eastern Canada, it seems to be one of the wettest on record. Is there, are we looking at more through the summer, the rest of the summer? Well, you know, Roger, I mean, I've looked at Toronto. Toronto's had, if you look at June and July together, never a wetter summer. And now I'm looking at August. And could this be the warmest, the wettest summer on record? And we've seen such dry weather in the West and forest fires and here in the east it shows you how a big country canada is we're just having monsoons and 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 the irony too roger is that in montreal and ottawa toronto uh we've had already with this one we've had two tropical storms from from uh, uh, uh barrel in in europe say a month ago mm -hmm. and now debbie my gosh uh, are we it's going to be the new norm is we have a change the hurricane zone to to more uh, central and and eastern on Canada and not not uh, Nova Scotia. I mean, Nova Scotia is going to see rain on Saturday, but but not nearly a hurricane type of rains. It'll be Debbie's rain, but hey, it won't be a problem at all. It'll be more in northern uh, New Brunswick as the storm leaves Canada. Okay, Dave. Thanks as always for your expertise. You're so welcome, Roger. Bye bye.
Dave Phillips, Environment Canada's senior climatologist.